What's up everyone, um, Gary here and today I'm going to be discussing uh, something that happened today in uh, the comment section of ABC News. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So first of all, I was lurking on the internet this morning and came across an article. Um, I go on all sorts of websites, different news outlets uh, all around the world. And I came across something on the, um, ABC News. And this was, uh, well, a controversial topic. Not Well, not, not the article itself, just just the area it was discussing. It was between Iran uh, US relations and we all know we don't, they don't have the best relations and therefore the people also you know got very different views. So you know I read the article, um, I read through some of the comments and I made my own comment as people do and um, you know someone replied um, let's just call this person Gary and um, so Gary replied and um, I read his comment, uh, reasonable, you know, um, uh, I wrote back and so on and so forth. Uh, so we exchanged a few messages, um, it was mostly a conversation, if anything, it wasn't, you know, uh, like angry messaging and stuff like that where you find on internet, and especially on YouTube comment sections. Um, so we we're, we're having a very reasonably civilized conversation. Um, then I noticed at some point, uh, a few hours later, I went on the Discuss uh, website where it's it's a common system that ABC uses. It's Discuss, um, which is connected to Facebook. You can uh, write comments on any um, website that uses Discuss. So you know, I went on it and I noticed that one of my comments has been removed. And you know, it, it kind of struck me. Um, why would why would it be remo uh, removed? I didn't write anything offensive. I didn't use any offensive language. Um, I'm pretty convinced that I didn't break any of the ABC News' terms and conditions in the comment sections. Um, yes, it, it was a very reasonable, I think it was the first one, first comment which got um, removed was just in a reply to someone wrote, um, uh, I will be cutting with this like clips and stuff uh, just because I keep looking down and want to get the comments and I don't waste time. He basically say he, this person Gary. Let's just call him that. Um, he said you're threatening us or our country, which is ridiculous in itself. Um, and I replied, I'm not threatening anyone. Um, I'm just making a statement. Bloody blah blah blah. Um, give a reason why. And yeah, so that got removed, which was you know a bit a bit, a bit weird to me. Why would it get removed? It wasn't anything controversial. Um, it it was quite reasonable in itself. So, you know, I let, I let that pass. Then I looked down uh, on the other comments I made and I noticed another one of my comments was um, removed. Um, unfortunately, I can't remember which comment I replied to um, this, but on, well, my reply was, um, why do you hear that? Um, question mark, Fox News, I presume. And let's just face it, a lot of us have um, our perceptions about Fox News. You know, not, not everyone thinks it's real news and there's a lot of lies and stuff to throw out to people and a lot of people don't like Fox News they think you know it's not a very good news organization so for me to make that comment it was you know it was a bit of a joke but it, it wasn't anything which is offensive or it, it was it was just boy if you hear that Fox News it wasn't trying to call them out uh, be offensive or anything which is against their terms and conditions. It was a basic comment. And you know, I, I pride myself on being able to at least make a decent constructive argument when I'm discussing stuff with other people online. I go to university and I'm not trying to make that excuse, oh I'm educated or whatever. But I go to university, I've got basic knowledge of how to construct an argument. I, I, I'm on a debate society. I'm not gonna claim I'm the best at debating. Um, you know, I can take on anyone and win. No, but um, I can basically argue my points fairly and, you know, to a certain point, decently, um, which, it's up, it, it kind of struck me, and um, the, the two comments that got removed, actually I was free, but one was a reply to another comment, um, it kind of struck me, because over here in the United Kingdom, the, let's just face, uh, let's just call it the equivalent of Fox News, which is, you know, US is probably far right, 
um, news organisation is Daily Mail uh, newspaper and a Daily Mail online and you know I'm a frequent user of these webs this, this website Daily Mail because there's a lot of controversial topics on there and you know it's got one of the juiciest comment sections on the internet where you can have a discussion with other people you know there's a lot of bigots there as well which you know try to I don't even want to get into it, but um, there's a lot of bigots there as well. But, you know, you, you can write a comment, uh, someone may disagree with you, you disagree back, and it carries on. But you don't see a lot of censorship in that sense. The only censorship you see on the Daily Mail is on the comment sections which are moderated. And by that, what I mean is, um, before your, co your comment has to be approved, uh, before it appears an article. And with them, Usually the writer's got a, a, an agenda which he, uh, he or she is trying to follow and they want a limited particular type of comment section which is uh, worrisome in, in, in itself um, by a news network doing that but uh, yeah it, it kind of struck me because uh, ABC News is an American news network uh, in America, and in America they have the First Amendment, which is freedom of speech. Them censoring people is, I think, ridiculous, because it goes against uh, the First Amendment right of American people. Now, I'm not an American, and I don't claim to be, um, I, have to have, I have to have the same rights. In the UK, we have our own freedom of speech laws and stuff, uh, and it's reasonable, it protects us, our freedom of speech, up to a certain degree. Um, I think it's quite fair and it's a very decent law. Um, but you know, it stops hate speeches and stuff, which you get in America through, you know, that's how organizations such as KKK uh, still exist today. But, you know, every country is different, every country's got different laws, and I think it's ridiculous that ABC's um, censoring people for very basic comments. They're not even um, comments which you can say they were offensive or they, they were. Um, what I what I took away from this is I don't know who censored it, uh, removed it, but I'm presuming it's going to be a, a writer, son. But comments which were agreeing with the article, no matter how bad they were or how offensive, they weren't being removed. For example, for, I got told by one of the commenters that you don't speak English. Uh, what's that? I'll find it right now. Okay, so my. First of all, my camera ran out of battery while I was doing it, and so, yeah, back to it now. Um, he wrote, you don't even have the right to speak English, please stop. Right, that was, I think that was, you know, a fairly typical comment on the internet, maybe crossing it slightly, but uh, this person, Gary, um, also wrote in other comments, um, he pre well, you he, he presume a religion, which he got wrong, um, presumed my origin which also he got wrong um, okay fair enough people do that all the time on the internet but looking at the other comments within this article or in general in the new, uh, ABC News website you have some comments which are ridiculous and can, uh, very offensive but they're not being removed only comments which is arguing that those um, points presented in the article, they're the one that usually gets censored. And it brings me to the point, do you think news websites such as ABC, in a country like the United States where it values freedom of speech, should be removing these comments? Do you think it's the right thing to do? Do you think they should be censoring the audience? Because as, we, as, we, as we've seen more frequently, people are taking to social media, such as websites like Facebook, Twitter, um, to voice their opinions. and new that people are getting news from Twitter and Facebook and are going to these websites such as ABC and Fox less often. These are a dying breed of news uh, networks. They will soon be dead and re uh, replaced by newer uh, source of news. But do you think these websites should be allowed to censor people? Um, obviously when they're not making uh, offensive they're not making an offensive comment stuff, they're just making a fair point. Uh, replying to people with a different opinion. You know, you're voicing opinions, but it's, it's not going against any of the terms and conditions. Um, I'd like to hear what you think about that.
uh, please write your comments down below in the comment section. Uh, I'd reply. I'd love to discuss uh, uh, things in a civilized manner. Please keep it clean. If anyone actually does reply, <laughs> I doubt it highly. But um, so yeah, that's that's my point. That's that's where it, this this whole thing leads me. Should news networks such as ABC or any other news network be censoring people and uh, ideas? Um, yeah. So that's my rant and. I'd like to hear what you think, so thank you and I'll see you soon.